Training and socialization go hand in hand and I have a whole video on socialization where we discuss it in detail but this episode is about how I trained my dogs as puppies but I'm not a professional dog trainer I'm just um, sharing with you our experience with training our dogs so if you're interested and you want to find out how I train my dogs I hope you enjoy this video First thing I learned while training my dogs is that you should start young and start early. So the minute you get your puppy, it's an opportunity to actually teach him basic skills like sit, stay, don't do that, don't do that, and don't do that. <laughs> so sit and stay, those are two basic commands that you can teach your puppy right away. Sit. Good boy. Sit. When you point at the floor, that's his cue to lie down. So Melo, look at me. We enrolled them in puppy class, but you have to go beyond the class that you enrolled your puppy in and follow through at home what you learned in puppy class and also doing your own research just to reinforce and make sure that you're teaching your dog as much as you can, but not all at the same time. Mello went to two puppy schools. The first one is the basic puppy training where we were taught how to train and teach our puppies basic skills. These basic skills may seem simple but they will come in handy as your puppy grows up. Second thing I learned is be patient. Try to give your dog or your puppy time to adjust and to learn because not all dogs, not all puppies learn at the same pace. So some are faster learners than others. You just have to give your dog, give your puppy enough time to get the command properly. Dean. Yes, good boy. Leave it. Yes, good boy. Another thing to remember is getting high value treats, finding out what your dog responds to best. Some trainers would suggest hot dogs, boiled chicken, boiled salmon. It has to be high value. It has to be something that he doesn't get on a regular basis during meal time. So it makes training very special. So high value treats are very important. So find out what your dog responds to best. As a side note, other dogs don't really respond to treats. So you have to find out if your dog responds more to attention or praise. I know there are breeds that are pleasers, so... Also, try not to make your training sessions too long. Five minutes is actually enough, like five minutes in the morning and five minutes at night. No more than five minutes, just so your dog does not get bored during the session and he looks forward to it because it's exciting and it's quick. So no more than five minutes every session and you can do it twice a day, once in the morning and once at night and you can follow it with play. So that will reinforce your bonding session with your dog on a daily basis. Bow. Shake. Other hand. Leave it. Okay, go. Don't forget to have fun with your dog and praise him every time, as many times as you can. Cause dogs really like being told that they're good, that you love them, that they're doing great. Good boy. 
And finally, focus on obedience skills first before moving on to the fun stuff. Commands like sit, stay, leave it. And you should also teach your dog eventually to walk by your side. Just don't overwhelm him. Try one trick or one command, or one to two commands at a time per training session. And be patient, wait for your dog to get it. And after a few tries and then he gets it, that's when you end the session and then move on to the next thing like playing with your dog. Training protection dogs like Chow Chows and Caucasian Shepherds, it's not as easy as you would a Golden Retriever or a Border Collie, but it can be done. You have to put in more time, more patience, and more love. These guys are worth it, so never give up on your dogs. Just give them time to get used to it and learn it, right? Okay, so Dean pretty much knows what Mello knows, and he knows how to shake. Okay, shake. Other hand. Yes, good boy. Yes. You really have to focus on obedience like stay and sit. Leave it. Okay, go. They have to learn that early on. If not, it's going to be difficult to teach them. Leave it. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Just make sure that they have all their shots, all their vaccinations complete before taking them outside, especially to puppy class or to a dog park because you never know what's out there for a very vulnerable and young unprotected puppy. You have to weigh the pros and cons of not having their vaccinations all complete before going to a puppy class. We made sure that the basic puppy vaccines, the 5-in-1 and the rabies shots are all complete before we signed him up for puppy class. And this guy went to a private class because since he's a giant, his energy is kind of different from the other dog's energies, right? So after every 10 minutes, he would fall asleep, take a nap. The teacher was there and he was teaching me and my daughter how to train and handle Dean as a puppy and as he grows up. Again, training should be daily, but no more than five minutes a day because your dogs will get tired right away. Your dogs will get bored. So give them a chance to rest, like what my guys are doing right now. After training, you let them rest. I hope you enjoyed our little training video and we'll see you in the next one.